Kumani are from grade 6A. Let's engage my pleasure to present before you on World Tourism Day. With a spread of diverse culture, language, traditional, attractive beauty and much more in the game. It's the inhabitants that enjoy the journey of travel. Tourism being one of the elements of pleasure and pure happiness. It's very much commonly seen. Tourism enables one to witness a variety of cultures, skills, costume and of course the beauty of nature that God has crafted. A majority of the world populate will have a dream to travel around the globe and visit each and every country. That the way how the world has been beautified with every small element of water, desert, trees and mountain. Now I would like to welcome my friends to present their piece of art in speech and some beautiful tourism places. They will be here to share with you their experience of travel about the place they had visited before and some facts of the pl that place. Let's enjoy. Hi everyone, I'm Sada studying in Great Six Alpha. On this World Tourism Day, it's my pleasure to say a few words about the country China I visited so many times. My family was staying in the sub-province named Gorjo, which is located in Guangdong. It is an urban area having so many industries, shopping places and so many naturally beautiful landscapes. I have visited so many places in China which include Canton Tower, Pearl River, Zhujiang City, Bayun Mountain, Science Museum, Qinglong Paradise and Water Park, Gonzo Zoo, etc. Gonzo, the third largest city in China, is the new rising star among the world. This metropolis, thriving from its tremendously changed history, dating back to over 2,000 years ago, offers much to saw in its rich charm. Gonzo is best known for its best annual Canton Fair, the oldest and largest trade fair. Gonzo has around 124 religion pavilions, halls, and temples. The religions include Taoism, Buddhism, Christianity, Jewism, Islam, etc. Gonzo delegates are the main Cantonese Christian, also known as Yu Kao, which also includes Chaozhou and Dongjiang popular nationwide. This employs ingredients from the sky, the earth, and the water with only a sprinkle of seasoning. Thank you. Have a nice day. Good morning, everyone. My name is Dashit. I'm going to be sharing you my memorable trip to the city of Pearl, Hyderabad. First, we visited the Birla Mandir. Temple of Lord Venkateshwara atop a hillock from where we could see the whole city in its grand splendor. Next, we visited the famous standing Buddha statue in the midst of Tang Ban Road, which is also called as Necklace Road. Next day, we visited Jagannatha Temple, a replica of Puri Jagannatha Temple in Orissa, where the Lord Krishna resides. Next, we visited Charminar, world famous, world famous as Churi Bazaar, a dream place for all women to purchase traditional and contemporary jewellery for all occasions. Finally, finally, the moment we all awaited for arrived, the feast of food Hyderabad, that Hyderabad is famous for, Hyderabadi biryani and spicy chicken. We ordered the Baobali non-veg thali which had 30 different varieties of non-veg dishes. It was a delight for us to see this much variety of dishes. Then we had our all then we all had our stomachs full of Hyderabadi dishes and returned to our place. This was a memorable trip. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Shivani Madhu. On this occasion of World Tourism Day, I would like to talk about the bike. The city known for its large number of cruise attractions. Dubai is one among the seven Emirates of the United Arab Emirates. It is also the largest and most popular city presently ruled by His Highness Sheikh Muhammad bin Rashid Al Maktoum, who is also the Vice President of UAE. According to the UN World Happiness Report 2020, Dubai and Abu Dhabi are the happiest cities in the Arab region. Since this is a country which I was born in, and visit frequently, I have a fond memory of this city. One 
time has my favorite memory of Dubai is when we took a tour to the tallest building, the Burj Khalifa. The tower is 30 meters tall, forged in the Dubai Foundry. To watch the city from a bird's eye view was breathtaking. What a show in the Dubai Foundry is also a worthy experience to uh, tours. I was mesmerized by the sight of water streams dancing according to the music. A visit to this Arab country will never fail to give tours a thrilling experience and is therefore preferred destination for many. So thank you and have a nice day. Good morning everyone. I am Bella Fatima from Grade 6 Alpha. Today I am going to talk about my favorite tourist spot Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi is located on Persian uh, Gulf. I love this place because of its attractive beaches and places like Ferrari World and Warner Bros. When I visited this place, it made me relax and happy. Abu Dhabi refers to father of the gazelle in Arabic. If you are ever going on a trip, I suggest Abu Dhabi. Thank you. Happy World Tourism Sunday. from 6A. You all know I live in Qatar these days. On World Tourism Day, I am going to be talking about one tourist place I recently visited in Qatar near Purple Island. It is surrounded by stunning greenery and exotic wildlife. A blissful ambience with abundant mangroves makes this place nature's delight and a perfect day to spend in the lap of nature. Purple flowers blossom in the spring season which makes this island more beautiful. There are small hills and a beautiful beach. There is a wooden bridge which connects these small hills and beach together. I saw different types of marine animals and birds and I kayaked through the mangoes. Me and my cousins played in the beach. It was a really joyful day. Thank you. Hello everyone. Today is World Tourism Day. World Tourism Day is celebrated each year on September 27th to spread awareness about the importance of tourism and its impacts on our society. On this occasion, I would like to share with you my experience of traveling to Mysore, a tourist destination. I, along with my family, toured Mysore recently. Mysore is the second largest city in the state of Karnataka. Our first halt was at Mysore Palace. It is the official residence of the Bodhayards, the erstwhile royal family of Mysore, and also houses to Darbar Halls. After the palace, we proceeded to Chamundi Hills. The temple has a beautiful idol of the goddess. We had some brunch and then proceeded to the last spot, that is Vrindavan Gardens. It was shocking to know that the garden is visited by close to 2 million tourists per year. It was so beautiful. All in all, it was a memorable journey. One must go there and take away long last memories. Hello everyone, this is Rian Firoz from Grade 6 p On this World Tourism Day, let me enlighten you with a very recent trip that I took with my family to Mona. Mona is one of the major tourist destinations in Kerala, which is located at about 5,200 feet above the sea level. Mona is a beautiful hill station located in the district of Iduki, Kerala. Once the summer resort for the British, Munar is known for its pleasant climate and pristine beauty. The rolling hills covered in mist, intersected by the winding roads, the dark emerald green colored foundation, and the few lone houses in the midst of it will instantly make you fall in love with this place. Monar is an ideal place for nature lovers, wildlife lovers, and adventure enthusiasts alike. You can indulge in boating, trekking, and paragliding. Mona got its name from the word Munu Aru, which means three rivers in Malayalam. The ethereal beauty of the scenic valley, rolling hills, virgin forests, and waterfall will enchant you. Mona is one of the places in India with rich biodiversity. People flock to this place so to see the lush greenery and the sprawling tea plantation. We bought lots of tea from a factory outlet. Other interesting places to visit in Munar include Chinnar, Tatekat, and Irregulam Wildlife Sanctuaries. 
these protected areas are home to many of the endemic anthraton species. The valley is also famous for the Nila Kulunji flowers that bloom once in 12 years. There are several places for sightseeing in Muna. Amongst all the places we visited, I love the Chaturangapara viewpoint the most. This place has lots of windmill operating as the place is very windy. The view from this point is sight to behold. on the colder side with slight drizzle and windy. We enjoyed our stay at Muna very much. Happy Tourism Day everyone. Thank you. The Uti of Malpuram is just near our Aura campus. Lush green valleys and grassy meadows. People come often to this hill station and take photos of picturesque scenery. May this hill station be pristine and beautiful forever. Yes, I'm talking about the nearest paradise of trekkers, Kodugutimala, the highest peak in Malpuram. Orange shall plan their next trekking to Kodugutimala once we are back in campus, hail and healthy. Hello everyone, myself Ayarimi Abdullah studying in grade 6 Alpha. Today, based on the World Tourism Day, I'm going to tell you about the state Kolkata. Earlier, Kolkata was known as Calcutta. I went to Kolkata during 2019. I went to Mother's Wax Museum. It is located in Newtown, Kolkata. There were statues of famous people from history, world politics, social reformers, film industry, etc. Wax statues of Mahatma Gandhi, Albert Einstein, Virat Kohli, Shah Rukh Khan, Michael Jackson, and few more to mention. The museum has been named after Mother Teresa. It is a museum based on spirituality, literature, science, social, music, Bollywood, Hollywood, Tollywood and sports. Thank you and happy World Tourism Day. Now that was much fun hearing to these words. It was great to know some facts. I wish all those star lovers out there will be able to travel around the globe at least once and may all your travel dreams come true. A very happy world to someday.